quarter signal and it appears to be bigger than a quarter. How you doing guys? Max here. I'm using the Equinox 800 today. I'm at an old, what was told to me to be a Revolutionary War campsite. Um, I took the person who told me his word with a grain of salt until I did some investigation. And I'll tell you what, I've been finding camp lead like crazy. Every other, other signal is a piece of camp lead. Now, uh, this has been hunted before, so people got all the, you know, the sure thing type signals. So what I'm doing today is I'm digging, uh, iffy signals, half tones, all that good stuff. And I just had a decent signal down in the hole and it appears to be an old button. Well, not appears, it is. But how old, I'm not sure. I'd have to guess maybe early 1800s, 1700s. Nice find, we're starting off good. Metal here, I had a like a nickel signal and there may be something else in the hole so I'm gonna have to double check it but I opened up my plug and I could see a little silver down in the hole that's a nice surprise I was actually I actually had spent the morning researching videos of how to find deep silver and I've been digging a lot of those halfway tones you know when it's ringing high halfway not fully so I'm testing out the waters with those tricks that I learned this morning and sure enough I got a little silver in the hole and oh it's a murk. I'm not gonna rub it but it's definitely a murk. I had one yesterday too I got one from this spot yesterday so this is a nice surprise like I said it was a nickel signal which may be something else in the hole so I'm going to sweep over it again but here you go guys got the Equinox 800 and I've hunted this area many times and this machine is just absolutely fantastic I would recommend it to anyone if I find something else I'll see you guys soon hearing another high tone in the hole hopefully it's a coin I don't think that's it is it yeah that might no, that's plastic. Yeah. There we go, guys. I think there's another one. Oh, that's older. No. Oh, it's not older. It's a rose, you guys. I thought I had it seated for a second. There you go. We can rub them. What is that? A 40? Eh. It's a rosy. I rubbed it a little bit, but eh, whatever. Another silver. Two coin spill. Beautiful guys with the Equinox. You guys, I can't believe this. I put my pinpointer in the hole again, and it looks like I got a nickel. So that's where that low tone was coming from. And it appears to be a buffalo. Yep, it's a buffalo. Look at that. Let's see if we can get a date. Nineteen. Can you see it? Nineteen thirty-five. Buffalo. I'm gonna check the hole again, guys. Three coin spill. Awesome. How are you doing guys? Maxi Metal here. I had a... It was ringing up like a dime signal. Uh, I already saw what it was. So I plopped it back in the hole so I could reveal it to you guys. Um, probably not a great idea, but whatever. Anyways, it was an Indian head. Looks to be 1882 back is a little rough but this one looks like it's gonna clean up real nice when I bring it home and toothpick it guys take a look at that that is a beautiful beautiful coin beautiful coin 
All right, guys, I'm gonna find something else. I'll see you soon. Hey guys, how you doing? I had an iffy signal about, probably about six inches down. Um, I see it, it's in the dirt. Uh, it appears to be a musket ball. It's a small looking musket ball. Never dug one this size, but it's a musket ball. All right guys, I'll see you on the next hole. How you doing guys, Max here. I had a really nice signal down in the hole. Um, I think it was ringing up around a quarter. Shallow though, but this ground is very rocky, so I'm taking the shallow signals. I don't know what this is, but it looks pretty cool. If anybody knows what it is, let me know. I would appreciate that. All right guys, see you on the next. How you doing guys? I had a decent signal, it was ringing up like a quarter. I don't know what this is. It looks almost like a piece of some kind of horseshoe, but it's cool. All right guys, see you on the next. I had a really good high tone. It sounded like it was something really big, like a can or something like that. I've been digging this hole for quite a bit now. And I swept over the hole, no signal, swept in the dirt next to the hole, and I saw a Merc. Looks to be a very, very nice Merc. Looks like it's in really good condition. I don't have water with me. So, looks to be a 20s Merc. And it looks like it's gonna be in really good condition. So, I'm gonna put that in my pocket and I'm gonna clean it up when I get home. All right, if I find something else, I'll see you soon. Guys, I found a puddle. I cleaned off the Merc. It is a beautiful 1923. No mint mark, but we'll take it. See you on the next. I put the plug back, swept over the hole, and I heard another coin. I dug out the other side of the root and popped out a Merc. Looks like a Merc, so I'm gonna take it. Looks like a Merc. Let's bring it over to the puddle and we'll clean it off and reveal it together. All right, puddle time. Wow, that's an early one. 1919. Looks to be in really good shape. Ah. It's in good shape, guys. Look at that. 1919 Merc. That is a beautiful coin. Nicked it a little bit, but I'm not going to sell it. 1919. Beautiful, guys. See you on the next. All right, guys. We had another nice signal about five inches down. Took a penny. Three. Can't tell. Yep, it's a weedy, so then that means it is a... ...1937. Alright guys, see if I find something else. And it appears to be bigger than a quarter. <laughs> it's a half dollar, guys. 1942 Walker. I'll clean it up when I get home. That's awesome. See you on the next. Hey guys, Maxi Metal here. If you like what you just saw, like, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Happy hunting, and thank you very much.